Hey, big sis. Hello, Bianca. It's Cassandra. It's been such a long time. Huh? Cassandra? How did you get my contact information? I blocked you, changed my number, and got a new phone. I got it from someone. And speaking of that, changing your number without telling me? Don't you think that's pretty rude? I'm your beloved little sister, and I'm the only sister you have. I miss you so much. What? Ew. Who's my beloved little sister? It's certainly not you. I would never use her name in any form of the word love in the same sentence. As far as I'm concerned, I don't have a sister. Huh? But why not? That's so mean. It's mean? Do you not remember what you did to me? Four years ago, you stole my fiancé from me. Ugh, are you still angry about that? How long are you going to hold a grudge? That was years ago. Get over it. Jeez. Besides, I already said I was sorry. Just let it go. It's all water under the bridge now. What are you talking about? You stole him from me right before our wedding day. I can never forgive you for that. Do you have any idea how much trouble you cost me? The wedding had to be called off. It caused problems for everyone involved. And I worked at the same company as him, so everyone heard about what happened. I was so embarrassed and everyone was talking about me behind my back. I had to quit and find a new job. There were so many things I had to suffer through because of you. Oh really? I had no idea. Quit screwing around. You knew damn well I never wanted to see your face again. So I blocked you from contacting me and I moved away, hoping that it would cut all ties with you. But you still managed to message me again. In case you didn't know, I hate you. Huh? I already apologized and you still won't forgive me? It sounds like you're the bad person here. Besides, it wasn't my fault. What? How can that not be your fault? Well, Andre was the one who made the first move on me. So don't you think it's a little unreasonable to blame all this on me? You were the one flirting with him from the beginning. You knew he was my fiancé, and you did nothing but flirt with him since the day I introduced him to everyone. Oh, whatever. It's all in the past now. I didn't message you about that. I messaged you because I have big news for you. You didn't think stealing my fiancé was going to come up when you messaged me? I can't believe you. I don't want to know and I don't want to hear everything you said. I got married. We signed the marriage certificate just the other day. Oh, great. Come on, it deserves a bigger reaction than that. You should be a little happier for your sister. Huh? Why should I be happy? I've told you, you're not my sister anymore, so I don't care. Do whatever you want. That's cold. I went through all this trouble to contact you because I wanted to invite you to our wedding. Do you know how difficult it was to get your number? You want me to invite to your wedding? I thought you said you got married the other day. We eloped the other day. But we are having a wedding ceremony anyway, so our family can come celebrate with us. Look, I don't care. Just leave me out of this. Who are you marrying anyway? Andre? <laughs> Fine, have a nice life. Huh? No, no, I'm not marrying Andre. Oh, I broke up with your old fiancé long ago. It was great stealing him from you, but it turns out we didn't have much money. I had no intention of staying with him forever. I just had my fun and tossed him away when I was finished. The person I married is a different person. Oh, is that so? Well, good. Do whatever you like. So, like I said, we are having a wedding ceremony, so I want to send you an invitation. Tell me your address. What? No way. I told you, I want nothing to do with you ever again. Do you not know what that means? Why would you say that to me? Oh, I get it. You're just jealous of me. <laughs> what? because your little sister is getting married before you. 
You're jealous. <laughs> oh, too bad for you. Your fiancé dumped you and ran away with a younger woman. Your little sister. Oh, it's so sad. And then I didn't even keep him. So it turns out he could have been yours after all. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I hate you, but I'm not jealous. I found out what kind of man Andrew really was. I don't want to marry any man that would dump me for you. I should be happy. You showed me what a piece of crap he was. That sounds exactly like what a loser would say. Anyway, I hope you're looking forward to my wedding ceremony. Maybe I'll introduce you to a good man when you come, so you won't have to be alone forever. No, thanks. I'm not going. Don't say that. Just come. I have a big surprise waiting for you at the wedding. You'll be so surprised. Make sure you're there. You won't want to miss this. You must be there to cheer the happiness of your younger sister. Cassandra, I don't know what kind of surprise you're talking about, but I've made myself clear. I won't be attending your wedding. I have no interest in being a part of any celebration you're involved in. Come on, Bianca. It's not just about me. It's about family, about us being sisters. I thought you might want to share in my happiness. Sisters? You lost that privilege when you betrayed me. And I can't fathom why you think I'd want to attend a celebration of your happiness after all you've done. Come on, Bianca. The surprise is meant for you. We're sisters after all, right? Shut up. Don't say such a bullshit to me. I won't attend your wedding and that's final. Jeez, no need to say something like that. Well, I'll send you the information anyway. Make sure to come. See ya! Hello, Bianca! Why haven't you replied to my wedding invitation yet? I know you got it. Mom and Dad are also ignoring me. Why? What do you mean by asking that stupid question? It's obvious Mom and Dad stopped talking to you after what you did to me with Andre. And why did you send the invitation to my office? I didn't even open it. I just put it in the paper shredder. What? Why would you do that? I took the time to write it out for you. Stop being so persistent with this. Grow up, please. I don't want anything to do with you ever again. Are you sure about that? Because I'm sure you're going to be the one contacting me pretty soon. What do you mean? Why would I be contacting you soon? I told you already. Because I have a surprise for you. <laughs> I'll give you a little spoiler. James Anderson. Have you heard of him? Huh? How would you know that person's name? Well, I heard that James is your new fiancé, isn't he? You're going to be married soon. Oh, I can't wait for the wedding to give you my surprise. I'll just tell you now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess it looks like... I took your fiancé again! Surprise! Huh? What are you talking about? Uh, you still don't get it? You were dumped by your fiancé again! Have you heard from James recently? No, I haven't. And I haven't contacted him either. So you... Can you guess who I'm with right now? Do you give up? I'm with your fiancé! I can't believe it took you so long to figure it out! Oh, you're so stupid! Oh. Um, no, you're not. Actually, today is my wedding day. Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, exactly what I said. Today is my wedding day. I'm getting married today. My fiancé, I mean... My husband is here with me right now. In fact, the wedding is over. We're married. The reception is going to be starting soon. What? Today was your wedding day? 
That's not possible. James is with me right now, and he's married to me. I don't know where you got your information, but you've got it all wrong. James Anderson was never my fiancé. Huh? The person I was engaged to and am now married to is Ethan Carter. We work together in the same company. But that's a lie. That must be a lie. You're just saying that because you're so upset I stole your fiancé again. That's why you're making up this story. Just to make yourself feel better. No. It's the truth. That guy was never my fiancé. We never even dated. But James said he was your fiancé. He told me so. He was also the one who gave me your contact information. He knows a lot of your personal information. If he's not your boyfriend or lover, this is pretty strange. James Anderson, do you know how I know him? I don't know. Love at first sight? <laughs> that creep used to stalk me. He's a stalker. What? A stalker? About three years ago, some co-workers and I went for drinks. One of my co-workers invited him to come along. He seemed like a nice guy and I was a little drunk, so I gave him my phone number. And instantly, he got super clingy and super creepy. Even though we had never dated, he started telling everyone I was his girlfriend and he kept calling me on my cell phone and then even calling me at work asking me to go out with him. I turned him down every time because it was creepy. But then he found out my address and it got really bad. He was one of our company's good clients, so I didn't want to call the cops on him. Uh, what? What are you saying? The person who finally put a stop to it was my boyfriend at the same time, my husband now, Ethan. I can't believe after all this time, James is still telling people I'm his fiance. What a creep! No. Hold on. What does this mean? Basically, it sounds like he's been telling everyone I'm his fiance, and you were tricked by it. I've never had a relationship with him. He's nothing more than a creepy, disgusting woman stalker. So you definitely didn't steal my fiancé. What? Is this even possible? Oh, this is horrible. I thought I got you again. I wanted to see your shocked, horrified face again. This is not what I wanted. What the hell? That's the whole reason you tried to steal my fiancé from me again? Unbelievable. Of course. The look on your face when I stole Andre from you was priceless. I wish I had a camera. <laughs> I wanted to see you make that face again. You're a horrible person. You know that, right? Just knowing we have the same blood in our veins makes me sick to my stomach. Oh, whatever. James works at a better company than yours. He probably makes really good money, so I'm glad I married him. <laughs> oh, what? Are you crazy? He's unemployed, isn't he? What? He works for one of your company's clients, right? No, that James guy. He's not just creepy, he's delusional. I think he's a pathological liar. I told you, I didn't call the cops when he came to my house. Ethan scared him off back then, but recently he came back and things escalated quickly. He came into my office one day demanding to see me. He didn't have an appointment, so reception wouldn't let him in and he went into a rage. He started breaking everything around the reception desk. Luckily, you need to scan your ID card to get into the office area so he couldn't get past reception. But he destroyed the whole reception area and when security came to escort him out, he assaulted the security guards and even tried to stab one with a pen. So the police were called to make a long story short, he got arrested and his company fired him when we told him what happened. That just happened recently too. I wondered why he came back after not bothering me for so long. It must have been because he met you and you were asking him so many things about me. It must have sparked something inside him again. Anyway, I'm pretty sure he's still unemployed. I can't imagine him getting another job so quickly. 
especially since he wouldn't get a reference from his old company and he wouldn't pass a background check. What? That's impossible! Well, I can't be sure, but I at least haven't heard that he's found a new job. He probably just lied to you to get you to marry him. The guy's not just creepy, he's got a criminal record now. He's not someone I'd ever want to be around. No way! Then what am I supposed to do? We're already married, and we've planned our wedding ceremony and sent out invitations. I can't call it off now. I'll never get my deposits back. Oh, well, that's too bad. You married an unemployed stalker with a violent criminal record. He was hard enough to get rid of when I wasn't even dating him. I'd love to see how he acts with someone he is married to. <laughs> I doubt you could run away from him if you tried. Stop it. Don't say that. I don't want to be married to a person like that. How come you didn't tell me this before? How was I supposed to tell you? I had no idea you were marrying. You just told me now. Whatever it's got, nothing to do with me. No. Wait. You have to help me. Are you just going to abandon me like this? Your little sister is in trouble. She needs your help. You must help her. No, no. Remember, I don't have a sister. I wouldn't even be acquaintances with a person like you. So I don't know you at all. Besides, think of the plus sides to all this. He'll probably never cheat on you and he'll probably never leave you because he's a stalker. <laughs> he's a terrible person, just like you. You're meant for each other. Don't say that. Please help me. I'm sorry for everything I've done. Please. I think this is what's called karma. So deal with it yourself. Besides, my wedding reception is about to start. I have to go have a great time with the people I love. I wish you all the best. <laughs> Goodbye. In the aftermath of my wedding reception, an overwhelming sense of joy and contentment enveloped me. Surrounded by the warmth of my parents, cherished friends, and beloved family members, I couldn't have asked for a better celebration. The evening marked a culmination of love and support from those closest to me. Leaving an indelible imprint of my heart, it really was the best night of my life. The decision to block Cassandra's number proved to be a pivotal one, ensuring that the shadows of the past didn't cast a pall over my newfound happiness. With the support of my husband, Ethan, and the unwavering love of my family, I felt secure in the knowledge that I had a robust network to lean on in times of need. In the wake of the wedding festivities, news of Cassandra's actions post-reception reached me. Evidently, she confronted James in pursuit of answers. Shockingly, it was revealed that his termination from our company was not the only stain on his record. Forced to shoulder the financial burden of damages inflicted upon the company's building, James found himself entangled in a web of debt stemming from past misdeeds. To make matters worse, the tangled mess of financial issues now extended to Cassandra as well. Faced with the grim reality of her husband's precarious situation, she embarked on the challenging journey of seeking a divorce. However, James, true to his troublesome nature, was not making the process easy for her. The specter of his past missteps continued to haunt them both. Cassandra attempted to reach out to me countless times, through letters and incessant calls to my parents, but all went unanswered. The hatred she harbored for me seemed to cloud her judgment, and I couldn't fathom involving myself into the tumultuous dynamics of her life. In the end, the woman who once stood as my sister was now entangled in a complex web spun by her own decisions. She's so stupid, isn't she?